the entertainment world was abuzz this week with whispers of a potential, true detective, casting controversy. Sources close to the production revealed that Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, had expressed interest in joining the critically acclaimed anthology series, sparking a whirlwind of speculation and, ultimately, a fiery response from none other than Jodie Foster. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Foster, a veteran of the acting world and a celebrated director in her own right, was reportedly unimpressed by Markle's aspirations. During a panel discussion at the prestigious Nighty Country Film Festival, Foster, known for her sharp wit and no-nonsense demeanor, didn't mince words when addressing the Duchess's ambitions. Let's be honest, folks, Foster began, a mischievous glint in her eye, Meghan Markle's acting resume is about as impressive as a cardboard cutout of a banana. I'm not saying she's a terrible actress, I'm saying she's not an actress at all. The audience erupted in gasps and chuckles, the tension palpable in the air. Foster, however, remained undeterred, her voice resonating with a quiet authority that commanded attention. I've dedicated my life to this craft, she continued, her gaze sweeping across the room, and I've seen firsthand the dedication, the passion, the sheer grit it takes to truly inhabit a character. Megan, with all due respect, has none of that. She's a royal, a public figure, a social media influencer, but she's not an actress. And, true detective, deserves better than that. Foster's remarks sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. The internet, as always, went into overdrive, with opinions flying fast and furious. Some lauded Foster for her honesty, praising her for speaking truth to power, while others criticized her for being unnecessarily harsh, accusing her of being jealous of Markle's fame. The controversy, however, wasn't just about Foster's blunt assessment of Markle's acting abilities. It also raised questions about the role of privilege and celebrity in the entertainment industry. Was Markle's interest in True Detective simply a publicity stunt, a way to further her own brand? Or was it a genuine desire to explore the world of acting, regardless of her lack of experience? The debate raged on, with fans and critics alike weighing in on the matter. Some argued that Markle's lack of experience shouldn't disqualify her from pursuing her passion. After all, there are countless examples of actors who started with little to no experience and went on to achieve great success. Others, however, pointed to the inherent privilege Markle enjoys as a member of the British royal family. They argued that her access to resources and opportunities, coupled with her already established platform, gave her an unfair advantage in the competitive world of acting. The true detective controversy, therefore, became a microcosm of the larger conversation surrounding privilege and opportunity in Hollywood. Was Markle's desire to act a genuine pursuit of a lifelong dream, or was it simply another avenue for self-promotion? The answer, perhaps, lies somewhere in the gray area between ambition and privilege. While Markle's acting aspirations may be genuine, her access to opportunities and her ability to leverage her fame undoubtedly give her a leg up in the industry. The controversy, however, serves as a reminder that the entertainment industry, like any other field, is a meritocracy. While talent and hard work are essential, so too is the ability to navigate the complex web of connections and opportunities that often dictate success. In the end, the true detective controversy may have been a tempest in a teapot, but it highlighted a crucial conversation about the role of privilege and celebrity in the world of acting. It also served as a reminder that, in the words of Jodie Foster, true detective deserves better than a cardboard cutout of a banana.